guys, it's Emma. Long time no talk. I really hope that you all had a wonderful Christmas and that you got to spend it with your family or your loved ones. I had an amazing Christmas this year. I just turned 19, December 23rd, and we celebrate Christmas mainly on the 24th, which is Christmas Eve. That's all like main Christmas events here in Iceland. And so I wanted to talk to you a bit before I went into what I got as Christmas and birthday presents. I, as I said, I turned 19, so I'm kind of like grown up. And under usual circumstances, I wouldn't really throw birthday parties for my family any longer because I'm over 18, which I'm like legally not a child anymore. Um, I'm legally a grown up. <clears throat> but my birthday party is kind of a Christmas tradition in my family, and really my parents want to keep it on. Like, I think they will celebrate my birthday every year, even when I moved out and all. And on that note, um, I am 19, so like Christmas is not about presents any longer. Like a few years back it was, or like a few plus years back it was definitely like the most, I was most excited about the presents. But these past couple of years have just been more about celebrating with family and that my family is together at Christmas because we had we have had a couple of Christmases in the last uh, few years that we haven't been all together. You just really appreciate family time and spending time with your family more as you get older and you realize it's not... You shouldn't take it for granted that you have your whole family coming together at Christmas. I also think it's lovely that the family comes together because this year has been kind of rough on my family and I know that everybody goes to, through some trouble and um, something going on with their family and um, everything is just looking a lot better right now and I'm so grateful that we are all coming together and plus my brother just had a baby so it was his first Christmas, um, it was our first Christmas with the baby and that's so exciting for the family, like the family is growing and I feel so blessed just to be a part of that. But as I said, like I'm getting older so it's more like I'm at a kind of awkward stage for people to be giving gifts because I'm not like 15, you know? And, but I'm not like moved out so I really like getting gifts for like the home like um, kind of like grown-up stuff but also of course the love beauty products so it's kind of like a awkward mix of things I guess and I really think it's kind of difficult for my like relatives to give me gifts that are not like that close to me and I don't really expect to get gifts from them any longer like for my birthday party because I am kind of just grown up from that and I don't really need like a bunch of gifts from anyone, you know what I mean? So um, me and my boyfriend, we've been together for three years and some months and we've decided that this year we wouldn't really give gifts um, for Christmas, that we would just buy like a trip to the mountain, mountain, <laughs> I was just watching the Hobbit, you know? Um, that we would just get like a hotel room with some like three course dinner and breakfast and have just a nice day out in the countryside just some sometime after New Year's Eve maybe during springtime because then the weather is more nice and all so we just decided to like skip out on gifts because we didn't really need anything we didn't really want anything specific from each other so it's more fun to just spend time together and make fun memories instead of buying gifts that you know you don't really need and you spending a lot of money on and we could be doing so much more fun instead so we just decided to do that this Christmas and I'm really excited about that yeah but uh, we give each other like stocking stuffers or like mm, from Santa Claus so I got a beautiful kit from him that was like way more expensive than I was thinking about but it's this one from Lucky Tan or Lachi Tan, Lachi Tan, something like that. And it's in my favorite scent, which is the Amand, the Almond Milk. And it has the shower oil, the body milk, um, a soap. I don't really use these bar soaps, but I guess you could use it in the um, shower. It's, it's, <laughs> it's exfoliating as well. And a hand lotion, and that's definitely needed because my hands have been dry as a fry. I don't really know if that's the thing that you say. But I really love that gift from him. If you haven't seen my Sephora haul, I got my birthday present from my boyfriend there um, earlier, like in November. 
and also my Christmas and birthday present for my parents. So I will link that video here if you want to go check it out. It will open in a new tab. As for more beauty products, I got a perfume box. I don't know if I like the smell so I'm gonna smell it or if I don't like it I will exchange it to something else but you know it's a nice gift. I got more hand cream. This actually smells amazing. It's the Valletta pomegranate hand cream and it smells like really spicy and nice. It smells just so good. I've been using it for the last couple of days. I got a glitter nail polish. Really nice ooh, golden color. I got a facial scrub from the coconut line, pure coconut. This smells really, really nice. I got this lip gloss set from H&M. I haven't tried any of these. I, I don't really normally use juicy, like, squeezy tube lip glosses, but I'll give these a try. So then I got a few jewelry items. I got a bracelet. I got a, um, what's it called? A necklace. I got this nice necklace from Aldo. I'm not really showing you it. And I got a hat with a fluffy ball on it. Um, I really like this. It's from my niece and yeah, it's really nice. I got some fluffy socks slash, um, I don't know what you call it, like, like sock sh shoes. I really really like this and I haven't even like wanted to wear them because they're so pretty and I don't want to ruin them. And on that note, I got these pajamas that I'm wearing. I'll maybe just show you like... These are the pants, if you can see them. These are the pants and this is the top. Then I got another top and another pajama top. I don't know if you can see like the mess that's behind me right there. Right there, let me just tilt you right there. Then onto more like decor stuff or like grown up stuff. I got a candle, um, this smells like cookies, baked cookies. I haven't burned it obviously, but I like the scent. It's just kind of like vanilla -y and I don't know, it's nothing really like cookies, but I like it. I got this gift that I really <laughs> enjoyed actually. Um, it's just a box with this. It's in this really purple, beautiful purple mauve color. And inside it, it has three more boxes, one black and two more smaller purple ones. And it's just like storage compartment. Like it's just really nice storage thing. And I really like it. I'll definitely get a lot of use out of that. I got this thing for my computer. I needed a new one because I got like a neon green one last year when I got the computer. And that's just, first of all, gotten really dirty, and second of all, it's like I'm trying to tone down the color, the color scheme of my life, basically, both of my wardrobe and of my bedroom. So I just wanted a neutral one, and this has stones. It's from Tiger. Tiger has really nice, affordable ones that, you know, work nice. Then this is like the funniest thing, like I almost cried out of laughter when I opened this up. It's from my boyfriend's dad and his family and it's cooking for beginners and two more Icelandic cooking books and <laughs> I obviously am growing up when you get cooking books I think he's like making fun of me because I really can't cook like I need to learn how to cook it's, it has a lot of nice recipes and I'm really excited to check it out it also has like nice detail and everything, like how to, you know, how to cook rice and, you know, what's the difference between this pasta and this pasta and like a lot of great things about cooking um, and some Icelandic, like with Icelandic recipes. This one says Icelandic festive food, so like the Christmas meals that are traditional here and such. And I got this Christmas statue, it's one of the gifts from my grandmother, it's quite funny, like. I don't know, it's probably handmade. It's definitely handmade. Made from her friends or something. But it looks nice. And I'll like keep it and when I move out, like I'll have it. I got a couple of light, what's it called? A candle holder. I got this one, which is like a um, skull for a tea light. It's just clear and normally I wouldn't really go for like a skull look. It's not really my thing, but um, it's pro it probably looks nice when you have a tea light in it. I feel like I'm not remembering something. And then I got two of these um, Itala Castle Helme 
um, candle holders and I got them in the light blue color and I really want to exchange it to a more neutral color as I said I'm trying to tone down the colorful mess but these light stands are like beautiful so I'm just going to exchange it for a different color because I really do love this this one's from Italo, which is a huge brand here in Iceland, like it's so trendy. So I got a lot of really nice gifts that I will definitely get a lot of use out of and I'm so excited to put everything in place and start playing around with them and all. But the icing on the cake was definitely winning a Facebook game um, at Spear, Spear Pudres. I'll put a link in the description bar, it's a Icelandic media, what do you call it, like a page, entertainment media page. And I got this beautiful makeup bag from Yves Saint Laurent and inside it has the YSL Manifesto Body, Lo Body Lotion and I really wanted to try the perfume, I was going to buy it at one time so I really like the scent of this and it's uh, like a sample size but it's like a nice big sample size Then it has the lip gloss, the gloss will up in number 49 which is a beautiful beautiful pink color this I'm so excited about. It is the eyeliner, baby doll eyeliner in 40. And this is the color of it. It's like a grayish green. It's a really beautiful liquid eyeliner. And definitely the most exciting thing is the YSL baby doll mascara, the full size one as well. And I'm so excited to, to test this out because I've heard just so many great things about it that I'm really excited to try it out. So yeah, that was really nice as a fun gift. Just I got it, uh, I wanted a couple of days ago, so I was so excited to get that one as well. That's pretty much it. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And as I said, I'm like not bragging. This is more of just a haul and a fun thing to see, like the revolution of getting gifts and how much they mean to you and all. So like next year, I'll hopefully be like sort of moved out. And so I will like to get more of like the candle holders and the decor stuff and I really like getting those gifts because like I said I'm just kind of in an awkward phase where people don't really know what to give you and I'm not really I don't really need any gifts so it's just kind of although I, I'm really really appreciative and I really am blessed to have gotten all of these things but like I said Christmas is definitely not all about presents and um, definitely don't get your hopes up so high because there are just gifts and if you really want something like I have a few things that I really need myself and I'll just work for them myself like expensive things like the new iPhone and such I just work for them myself I don't really expect my family or my parents or my boyfriend to go out and spend tons of money like on a gift even though I've gotten really big gifts from them um, in the past couple of years that was all for today I really hope that you enjoyed this video, like I said, I will talk to you in my next one and I really hope that you have a nice new year and I will talk to you probably next year or maybe a couple days before that. Bye!